Good afternoon, Anne Arundel County. Good afternoon, America. This is Anthony Bynum for promoting Don't Get Fooled Again with class. The name of our production company is the Glenn Bernie Players. So Mother's Day is right around the corner and uh, we wanna give a, a, a happy Mother's Day to all mothers uh, in the entire world. Is there anything more important than being somebody's mother? I, I don't think so. So we wanna do a couple of quick shout outs here. First, episode six of Don't Get Fooled Again is currently playing. It's on our cable access uh, channel. If you have Comcor Comcast, that's 99. If you have Verizon, that's 38. If you have Broad Stripe, that's 98. It's playing Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. It's playing Tuesday and Saturdays at 10 a.m. If you want to just look at it on your computer, you can just type in the words in your browser. Um, episode six, quote, don't get fooled again, end of quotes. It'll come right up on your phone, on your computer, however you want to do that. The other shout out we want to make is to the Greater Ferndale uh, Civic Community Improvement Association. They are working on Ferndale Day. That's going to be held Saturday at Senator Wagner Field. It's going to be uh, from basically 12 to 5 o'clock. I'm going to show you the flyer. There's a lot going on uh, at Ferndale Day. A lot going on. Things I want to point out. They have something called a beer garden. So I'm not exactly sure what a beer garden is. I think it might have something to do with beer. But you might want to come down and check that out just, to, just for your own curiosity. There are two bands playing. We have the Lonesome Prospectors. I'm familiar with them. We've covered them in our show. And another group called Different Sisters. So I'm excited to find out what they're about. We also know that at 1.30, the play, the play, um, Our Back Discovers the Glen Burnie Carnival will be performed at a one time only. It's going to be performed in a smaller stage area, but you can find it. You'll be able to find it there. So. Our back, uh, as we mentioned before, is the alien who's traveled from his world many, many, many parsecs away to learn about us here in Anne the County. And while he's here, he discovers the Glen Burnie Carnival. It's over 100 years old, and it's a big deal here. So it's worth, it's worth checking out, I do believe. So as we go into our show, we want to give credit where credit is due. So the book that we looked at for our featured um, individual is a was written by John Adler and Draper Hill. We get information also from Wikipedia and we borrow from the Poetry Foundation for the poem that we're going to read about. So this week, we want to look at Thomas Nast. Until recently, I really wasn't familiar with Thomas Nast. I had no idea how important he was in uh, American history, but not, none at all. Let's take a look at the fundamentals of this individual, then we'll tell you why he's so important. Nass was born 926, 1840 in a place called Landau, Germany. He died 12-7-1902 in Ecuador. Early on, Nass and his family immigrated to, uh, to America. He is known as the father of the American cartoon. So when I was growing up watching the Flintstones, Bugs Bunny, uh, Top Cat, the Jetsons, and a, a bunch, <laughs> actually probably too many cartoons. It was he who was the father of all of it. He's the first great illustrator. So let's take a look at the cover of the book. First, we'll take a look at a self-drawn picture of Mr. Nass, okay? That's actually an illustration. But again, what he was famous for was illustrations. He was fantastic, absolutely fantastic. There's three ways to cover a story, even today. Even today, there's three basic ways to cover a story. You can write about it. You can take pictures of it. And at some point in time, we will cover Matthew Brady, who did all that great work with the uh, Civil War. And you can draw pictures about, draw pictures. Even now, courtrooms, a lot of courtrooms, cameras aren't allowed at all of them, I don't believe. I don't think they allow them in the Supreme Court. So you have someone there drawing pictures. Let's talk about Nast. We already said he was the 
father of the American cartoon, some of his other contributions before we go to his greatest one, he actually created the modern day Santa Claus. So he borrowed from German tradition of St. Nicholas, who, as I understand, was a monk or priest. We'll double check that later on, on another, at another time. Uh, he, that was, but he's installed in German history, German, uh, yeah, German history. And so he borrowed from that to create the modern day Santa Claus. Also, uh, he drew the cartoon image of the uh, political symbol of the, of, of the that, at that time, the new political party, which was known as the Republican Party, the elephant, that's, that's Thomas Nass. But he's most famous for the drawings that he, he drew, the illustrations that he did of the Tammany Hall era in New York. At that time, there was a political machine that ran New York City. And uh, it was head, headed by somebody known as Boss Tweed. Through his illustrations, eventually, people believed that there was a lot of corruption there. And all the main players were arrested, and Tweed was arrested. He was, had to be ex extradited from Spain, actually. Um, and much of that is due to the illustrations from Thomas Nass. Now, he worked for a very popular magazine at the time, or a newspaper magazine, maybe one of the first, called Harper's Weekly. He worked for them from 1859 to 1860, and again, 1862 to 1886. Uh, he had a great, great career. And uh, for that, we mention him here today. We're going to move on. Next thing we want to cover is the World War II Memorial. Uh, it's in Annapolis. It's, it's actually on the end of Governor Ritchie Highway. From the picture I'm going to show you, you can actually oversee the, it oversees the Naval, Acad the Naval Academy Dome. So a little bit of information on this. Uh, it was designed by a famous New York designer. Uh, last name is Fernandez. Uh, I believe the first name is Sugundu, Sugundino Fernandez. It's designed as an open amphitheater, much like those of classical uh, Greek times. Uh, there's a monument there that uh, names all 6,454 Marylanders who died in World War II. I'm going to take you a couple quick pictures. Here's one. This is dedicated to the U.S. Army. Here's another. Dedicated to all the branches of the, of the uh, U.S. services. But there's much more there. The grounds are beautiful. It's it's an easy trip. And you can just kind of go there and check it out. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It, it's beautiful. Next, as we mentioned, Mother's Day is right around the corner. It's this Sunday. And is there anything more important than being someone's mother? I, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm blessed. And uh, well, anyway, let's go on with that. So I want to read a poem. This uh, writer is actually more famous for another poem, another story. He's a great storyteller of his day. Uh, he probably was around the, the 1800s. We'll, we'll do something on him later. Regarding uh, regarding this, but the name is Edgar Allan Poe. He's most famous for the Raven. However, today we're going to write, we're going to read rather a poem. Again, it was we got it from the poem Poetry Foundation. It's called "To My Mother." Because I feel that in the heavens above, the angels whispering to one another can find among their burning terms of love none so devotional as that of mother. Therefore, by the dear name I long have called you, you are more than mother unto me. And fill my heart of hearts where death installed you in setting my Virginia spirit free. My mother, oh my mother, who died early, was but the mother of myself. But you are mother to the one I love so dearly and thus are dearer than the mother I knew. By that infinity with which my wife was dearer to my soul than its soul life. That's beautiful. 
that's absolutely beautiful. I think it may have a bit of a double meaning. I'm not an expert when it comes to poetry, but I think it may have a bit of a double meaning there. In either case, it's beautiful work, Edgar Allan Poe. So that's gonna wrap up promoting Don't Get Fooled Again with class to all the mothers out there. Wishing you a happy Mother's Day. And until next time, this is Anthony Bynum for, again, promoting Don't Get Fooled Again with class. Have a nice day.